guys, I'm Bonnie. Um, so yeah, really, really incredible to be here tonight because last year I came to Festival for the Future and I was a volunteer and I didn't really expect for my mind to be as blown as it was. But obviously when I saw the amazing speakers and felt the vibe, um, yeah, my life changed quite a bit. So I just wanted to say though that um, because the speakers were so inspiring last year, I felt kind of removed. Um, and I wanted to say that over the next few days, when you hear inspiring people, don't feel like what they're saying unattainable. Thank you. Um, yeah, don't feel like what um, the speakers are saying are unobtainable, because what I've learned over the past year is that anyone can do really great things. So at Festival, I was really excited about this idea of social entrepreneurship, which is basically using business as a way to change the world. So I did live the dream, and live the dream was an incredible experience. It was really, really empowering. And I personally felt like I learned more at Live the Dream than I did at uni and high school put together. Um, yeah, so I felt like, <laughs> so I felt like I really found my tribe and something that I could feel um, that I really wanted to work hard towards because it was incredibly inspiring and everyone in the community was really inspiring. And also through Live the Dream, I started my own social enterprise called um, Indigo and Iris. And Indigo and Iris is a sustainable beauty company with the mission of curing treatable blindness in the Pacific Islands. So it's really... <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. So um, when and Live the Dream finished, I wasn't finished with Indigo and Iris because it was something that I really believed in and I'd never been more excited about anything in my entire life. So I made the decision to not go back to uni. I was at AUT, which is kind of cool and I work on it full time, which is what I've been doing this year. And this year has been absolutely insane. The thing that inspired me to start Indigo and Iris was the time I spent in Vanuatu last year. And Vanuatu was absolutely incredible and really touching. I, it was the first time that I actually had come across treatable blindness in my life. So I learned the story of this woman named Vivian. Vivian is the same age as my mum. She's also a solo mum, like my mum and has two daughters the same age as me and my sister. So Vivian became blind because of cataracts and because of that, her young daughter dropped out of primary school to take care of her. So this is actually a really common thing in the Pacific Islands. Four out of five people who are blind in the islands don't need to be with access to really basic healthcare they can see again. And to give you an idea of how insane that is, there's an estimated 80,000 people in the islands alone who live with treatable blindness. So I came back to New Zealand um, knowing this and was working in the beauty industry. And the beauty industry is a $51 billion industry annually and that is increasing rapidly. So obviously there's kind of a bit of room in there for the industry to do something really cool with the profit, which is why I was inspired to start Indigo and Iris. And this last year has been really insane. I'm working on launching our first product, which is an organic, vegan and cruelty-free mascara and we've partnered with the Fred Hollows Foundation, and we're gonna use all of our profits to cure blindness in the islands. To do this, I've been working with coconut suppliers in Samoa, because we're using coconut oil in our mascara formula. I've been working with glass manufacturers in Italy, lawyers, designers, website development companies. And it's been really humbling, because the people who are all involved are really, really talented, and believe in Indigo and Iris, and the vision. Um, and I've been, yeah, I was trying to think of, of what this has all meant to me because it's obviously been quite a crazy year and this journey has been really exciting but it hasn't actually really begun because we haven't even launched yet. But um, to me, this means that I'm working on something and I'm working for something that I can be extremely proud of, that is really, that is really memorable and um, I find that a lot of people really love the idea and... It's a bit more than that though. Not only is it fighting for access to healthcare in the Pacific Islands, um, it's about fighting for a voice in the beauty industry that doesn't objectify women. And through this, lots of opportunities have come up. Um, so I recently went to Kenya where Obama co-hosted the Global Entrepreneurship Summit. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. Um, going to Kenya and going to that summit gave me a much more global perspective on what's happening in entrepreneurship around the world. And that was really inspiring. And it, when I came back to New Zealand, I was even more pumped to work on Indigo and Iris. Another thing that I've learned through doing this is 
I don't know if this is just me, maybe some of you can relate, but when I was in high school, and even sometimes still now, um, when people say to me, what do you want to do when you grow up? Where are you going to be in 20 years? And find your passion and follow that one thing. It really, really stresses me out. And it makes me think, oh my goodness, I've lost my passion like I always lose my keys. And if I look hard enough, I'll find it. <laughs> but what I've realised um, is that that's so not true. And your passion is something that you, you have right now and always have had, it's that feeling that I don't think that we can actually put into words. Sometimes it's silent and really strong, and sometimes it's loud and fiery, but it's not a sector, it's not an industry, it's not a cause, it's just something that you feel when you seek out beautiful things, and that's been my experience with Indigo and Iris. So I suppose I would really encourage you to seek out beautiful things in your life. Um, and the last thing that I really wanted to say was how excited I am for the opportunities that we all have and that I have um, to do something really cool in this world and make a positive difference. The day that I can look in the mirror, that you can look in the mirror, that anyone in the world can look in the mirror that loves to use makeup and apply a sticky black liquid to our eyelashes and know that someone in the Pacific Islands is, is able to see again because of that purchase that we're going to make anyway, is going to be the best day of my entire life. And I hope that you'll join me on this journey that is Indigo and Iris. I'm excited for the future. And I also hope that you really enjoy the rest of Festival for the Future. Thank you. Woo!